What is up guys? How are you guys doing? Uh, it's been a second. It's been a little second since I've made videos and I have a beard now. So what do you think of that? I have some exciting things going on today and uh, I wanted to bring you along with. So first off, we have a full glaze kiln that we're gonna unload, which is super exciting. Um, and then there's some things in there that we're gonna bring to the coffee shop, Mocha Monkey. And we have been doing some work at Mocha Monkey, which is why I haven't really been filming many videos because we've been like painting, refinishing floors, and just doing a lot of stuff that we would otherwise not be able to get done when we normally have customers like 360 days a year. 15 hours a day. So that's why I haven't really been doing too many videos, but it feels good. It feels good to be back. And uh, thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully I'll get some more videos done. I got some good plans for some more pottery videos. So, all right, that's it. You guys ready to see what's in this kiln? I'm very excited. And then stay tuned because we're gonna go to Moke Monkey and I'll show you what we've been doing there. If you hear that clicking noise, it's cause that is doing a bisque kiln right now. So that kiln is at 1446 degrees, got lots of mugs and hopefully we do another restock in the next couple weeks for you guys. But right now, you guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think you're ready. You ready? Ready? Woo! That, this is a big vase followed by two other big vases. There's this display thing at Monk Monkey. Right when you walk in, there's these two little display areas, and I wanted to make these big pots for that, so that's what these are. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So that's Norse blue with sandstone over top. That is beautiful. So there's one. Uh, and then number two. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that thing. So sweet. And then the final. <gasps> That's the Northern Lights classic. So those three, we're gonna bring those three to Mocha Monkey and uh, I'll show you where, show you where we're gonna put them because it's very exciting. I'm very excited for this. All right, what else have we got in here? Got a couple little espresso cups. So my brother-in-law who is an emergency doctor in New York right now. Thank you, Ben, for everything that you're doing. Uh, these are for him. He just got a little new espresso machine in New York and he needs some espresso cups. So easy put those, my wife put those decals on there. Sorry about that blazing sun coming in. Or maybe it's cool, I don't know. It's 7.41 in the morning. Sunrise is right out that window, so. Maybe it's, maybe it's good, maybe it's like a cool thing. Okay. Seriously though, I, guys, I want you guys to comment. Comment in the, in the, uh, Description, do you like the beard? Should I keep it or should I shave it? I'm calling it my Corona beard. So these turned out good, lavender mist. Okay, and then we had some crazy dripping going on. Wow, I cannot figure this glaze out. I mean, I it's awesome when it works, but I get so often I just get it crazily dripping, which I feel like when it drips a lot, it looks better, but then it just drips a lot and it's, uh, unfortunately, I have like four more of these on the bottom shelf, so hopefully those didn't drip so much. Yeah, those lavender mist, those turned out sweet. These kiln shelves is like a life saver. Ready? See that? I see some cool stuff down there. Yes, I do. All right, let's get all the ones that ripped out of the way. Ah! Like I had such good luck with this glaze for a while and now I'm just I'm at a little bit of a loss. Oh, but the rest of the stuff in here is really nice. So we got some, some of EC's patterned. Those are cool. Those are sweet. Some more, ooh, that's really nice. I like it. That's very cool. And this one's cool. Boom. Very sweet. Got this marbled blue. Here, let's try this. Shink. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Those are good. And we have kind of the same little orange marbled. Those are sweet. 
How many times do I say sweet in this video? Look at the bottoms of those. Aren't those cool? And then you have a few of these classic Northern Lights. Everybody's loving these. These sell out on the Etsy store like so fast. I can't believe how fast they sell out. And then the last two is a new glaze. So you guys, you guys will have to tell me what you think. This is Satin Patina. So I have two of those and that's just a single glaze on there, which I hardly ever do single glazes. And I'm excited to start pairing, like trying this glaze with other things, but what do you think of those? I really like them, they feel super cool. Okay, so now we're gonna count how many pots came out of that kiln so we can write it on our board and we'll have a new total for 2020. So I believe that we had 30. So today is 24th. We had 30 pots come out today. So now that brings our total to 973 pots for 2020. I did like 300 in January, but we've slowed down a lot thanks to the, the coronavirus. How are you guys doing with all of this? I'd love to hear in the comments. This kind of affects everybody in every industry a little differently, and I'm I'm curious how it affects you. Are you a business owner? Are you uh are you working? Are you out of work? Let me know. Okay, so now we're gonna take uh, those three big pots. We're gonna take a few pictures of them, and then we're gonna bring them to Moke Monkey, which uh, you definitely want to see. And then I'll give you a little tour of all the stuff we've been working on. You guys ready? On the way to Mocha Monkey. Let's do it. Monkey. We've done so much work so far. I'm just gonna take you guys around and show you. We just put a coat of poly on the floors last night, which are looking so good. Yay. Hey, bud. So you wanna tell me what's going on here? The mural? Yeah. So basically, we're gonna attempt to paint that on this wall, right? Yep, one little shape at a time we can get in and our boys allow us to. <laughs> All right guys, so we're at Moka Monkey right now. We just put the first coat of poly on these floors up here and we just put the first coat on the poly on the floors downstairs. Um, and so over the past two weeks, basically we started by doing all the floors up here, right? We moved all the furniture into this room and did all the floors over there. And then we painted that turquoise room over there, which we're now gonna do this mural, which EC's working on right now. Um, and then behind the counter downstairs, we took out all the wood. There was a bunch of cabinets and stuff behind the counter, which you're really not supposed to have wood. It's supposed to be like stainless steel. So we took all the cabinets and wood down, which had probably been up there for 15 or 20 years. Painted that all white back there, like a glossy white. What else did we do? So we put a new sink behind the counter. First we had to tile back there. So we had to like rip, rip out the wood and then it was just wood, so we had to put new tile flooring there. We totally redid the concrete, like we cleaned that concrete pad really well, which there's a bunch of furniture on there right now. We Then we painted downstairs, we painted all that wood and there was like a red color so we painted turquoise over that and then white over the other stuff where we put those new pots that we just put in today and then we made that grate for there was like a giant hole in the ceiling that was kind of always just there and we covered it sometimes but we made that ceramic piece to cover that god that's just basically what we've done over the last two weeks we painted all the baseboards we still have to paint this room these baseboards but we painted all the baseboards up here so a lot of paint a lot of polyurethane a lot of ripping stuff out. Yeah, we should be ready for whenever these stay-at-home orders are lifted and people can come out again. Um, this store is gonna be looking so fresh and so clean. 
But basically we just gotta put poly on the rest of these floors, second coat, and then EC is gonna help finish that mural. EC has a monkey painting that she's gonna do. Uh, and then we gotta start putting everything back. We're gonna space out all the tables. Um, and I'm gonna do another video when everything's totally done. But yeah, things are progressing nicely. It's been good. Are we, is it a video or a picture? I'm taking a video right oh. now. Cheers! I don't know what We love cold press. <laughs> Welcome monkey, Waconia. We love you. What's in there? Fun! Drive on. All right, guys. Well, so later today we're gonna come back and uh, put another coat of polyurethane on the floors. And then uh, we'll be so close to being done with everything at Monk Monkey. It has been a grueling, it hasn't been that grueling. It's been pretty fun, but it's been a lot of work so far for the last two weeks. So I'm excited for when we can finally get back in the studio and start making some more videos, which will be very soon. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Shoot.